I just came off a uh, Zoom call with a new friend who uh, that I met on um, on one of these online meetings that I join sometimes, and uh, she has written a book that I find very very uh, uplifting for the future for what is actually to be experienced in the future when we move out of this veil of illusion. I will um, I will have her on my YouTube uh, soon. We just need to set a time because I really want to share this with you. I think to have some kind of a, a positive vision of a future, what it is like when we leave this whole layer of um, false identity behind which is what I talk about all the time, right? How to unhook from it so we can find out who we truly are. And then from there, we can allow that to start living our life, not as a separate entity, but as a, a oneness, fully connected and expressed as the divine that we already are. So I think uh, we all have something to look forward to in that conversation. But I'm not going to do that today, obviously. Um, but I wanted to just talk a little bit about gratitude because we talked about gratitude on our little conversation here. And gratitude is a very, very important energy. I'm going to call it energy. And I will, I will share with you the experience that I had many years ago when I had my <laughs> big bang spiritual awakening where everything opened up and I was just poured, filled up with this most divine, delicious, delightful energy. This energy was a very, very strong experience for me as gratitude. When it opened up, I was sitting in meditation. I've talked about this before. I was sitting in meditation, um, pondering one of the Bible quotes that Joe Goldsmith suggested. It's, I and my father are one. I and my father are one. And then whoosh, everything opened up. And this sublime energy just filled me up. And when it happened, I was sitting on the couch and I just, I just, I didn't fall off the couch, but I just dropped down from the couch on my knees in a sense of gratitude that I had never experienced before. It was so full. It was all there was. And I was just on the floor saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I would say, don't ever let me stray away from this, from you again. And as you may have heard, I'm not going to go into it now, but that lasted for a number of months. And then I went to the deepest hell <laughs> after that heavenly experience. And then my work began um, to come back home to who I am which is an ongoing journey, of course. So that feeling of gratitude, I was not grateful for anything in specific. I was just filled with the experience of gratitude. And that has taught me something over the years as I've been learning how important it is that we feel gratitude. Um, I have been with a number of teachers. One of them you may know about, Dr. Joe Dispenza, a wonderful, wonderful teacher of consciousness. And he has these huge events, uh, seven day events, where we go into a, some deep, deep meditations. And he's also very much talking about how to create a new future self. And that gratitude for the future experience, he says, is basically what calls it in, what brings it into our experience. It's not about, I'll wait till I have that experience and then I will be grateful because I have it now. 
And that is what we have all learned, right? That or not learned. That's what we all do. We have been conditioned to believe that, you know, first I have it and then I will be grateful. And then Dr. Joe Dispenza says the absolute opposite. First, you feel the gratitude and then you will bring it into your life through that energy. So how that fits in with what I'm talking about today is that the experience of gratitude is a divine energy and it is so pure and so big and beautiful but it is a divine energy it's not little pernilla being grateful to god so that i can bring something into my life that's how it looks to the mind. And it, I'm sure it works for a lot of people because when you tap into that energy of gratitude, this is what I experienced, that the energy itself is who and what you are, what I am, which and which is everything. So it's not like, okay, now I'm gonna use gratitude to get something into my life. It's like, no, now I'm gonna drop in and being what I am and being grateful. That, that kind of wells up when you really feel the, the presence of who you are or your heart longing or expression where you tap into that energy then you are in the experience of having or being what you long for because it is not separate from us. And I think that is so hard for all of us to grasp and to really realize and embody that because we have all been so far removed from the reality of who we are. So I want to just add to that whole gratitude thing that the reason that it works is because you tap into the energy where it already is. So it's not so much that you bring it into your life, even though it looks like, like that, which is great, but it's because you go to the place, to the energy, the divine energy where Everything already is. My kingdom is inside. The kingdom of God is within. And that kingdom, again, in my experience many years ago, that kingdom is an experience, an energy that feels like immense gratitude and also immense love. And it's just it's just this hard to express what it is. And if you have had any of those experiences, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But the reason I want to mention gratitude is that it is already who we are. So if we use gratitude to get something, it might be a better idea to use gratitude to just experience it, what it is. And in that sense of gratitude that we already are, there is no lack. So there's nothing we need to do to bring it in, to attract it, to manifest it, except that we need to go to the place where it already is. And that is where, you know, for all of us spiritual seekers who want to create a new future, who want to manifest certain things, that one who is thinking he or she needs to do something is many times actually moving away from where it already is if we have some kind of a focus on something. And again, I want to say I'm sure it works for a lot of people, and that's great. It might just be a very necessary step on the way before we can also let that go. And then eventually, there is just a gratitude for being because being 
is experienced as gratitude slash love. In my experience, when I had that big opening, it was the same thing. There was not, it was like, oh, it's gratitude. It, it was all one thing and it, it's delicious. And there's other things in there too, but that was the main experience for me back then. So, you know, if you can definitely start uh, cultivating gratitude, cultivating love, but it's because you already are that. And there's nothing you need to do to get it, except like as a self-love mentor, you know how often I talk about the importance of self-love. The one the thing we can do and probably need to do for a while is to stop not loving ourselves because when we are not loving ourselves, we are cutting off who and what we already are and what we are longing for. And we walk out that direction trying to look for love. Maybe we go on one of these dating sites or go to a bar or whatever, because we want love and we move away. But when we go here, where it already is, and then stay there or go back there more often than not, because that love slash gratitude energy, it dissolves the lack of itself because it's not real. It doesn't have any power or reality. So we don't need to try and change it, but we can just go here as much as we can and are able to and just sit there. And, I, and here I go again with my prayer, right? I, show me. Show me. I have no idea what gratitude is. I have no idea who I am. I have no idea how to love myself. And then you you go in into the kingdom inside or the queendom and you wait. Sometimes there's, you know, a click, deep breath, uh, some kind of knowing something, maybe a still small voice, maybe nothing for a long time. That's how it's been a lot for me. But I know, I know it's here. So I know there's nowhere else to go. So every time I go there, I know something is just being cleared out here, there, whatever is in my consciousness. And then eventually it starts moving through. And then that's when we start seeing things are just showing up. And I didn't even do anything for it. And things just come to us. And it's like, wow. And you go like, oh my God, this really works. And it's not, yeah, it works because it is what it is. It, the gratitude, love thing, the stillness is, is uh, the same as the needs that we have so that it does fulfill our needs naturally. So when I had that big bang opening of gratitude, you know, I didn't experience a lot of good coming right after that. I went through a hell ride. But that's what happens This when something comes in of that nature, that caliber. It just opens up, you know, all the tight places that we are, where we're turning away from this. So that needs to be cracked open. And that can be intense. I <laughs> This is very intense for me for many months. But something had changed in me because I knew at that point something that I didn't know before. And I know it was inside of me. But I didn't know what it was. Uh, you know, there were so many beliefs and layers of emotions that that thought there was something wrong with me and God had left me after that experience. All that has been flushing out for years, I would say. It took me years before I started realizing something deeper about it. So it was, was not so easy always. So I don't know if I should recommend it or not, but, you know, you don't really have a choice. When it really calls you, I would say be grateful that you feel a calling. It's like, oh, yeah, I, I long for the divine. And then just be grateful because... As soon as you feel grateful, you drop in deeper into what is gratitude itself. 
I hope this makes sense. Um, it's a very powerful experience and it's something we can start tapping into by just experiencing little gratitudes here and there. Every time we do, we feel who we are and where what we are longing for exists. So that was my little story about gratitude. And um, I think I'm gonna leave it at that for today. Thank you so much.